Welcome back, everybody, to the Gears Challenger Series Split 2 Phase 2 Week 2. I'm Taylor Reflections Noble, joined by Jordan Ribs Ribeiro, and so we're about to head into our second semifinal matchup. The champs return, and of course, they are going to have their hands full going against Digital Gaming. The champs, of course, being Dossal Micklin, previously Gods. Love the logo, by the way. It's vicious, man. It definitely, I don't know, man. I'm pretty, you know, when you, when you see a logo like that, Ribs, you know you're in trouble, brother. Yeah, no, I mean, them being under gods was just like a, a random team name. Them now having some type of representation, Docile Micklin, a dope logo, uh, defending champions. Everything's going in their favor, so it's up to Digital to try to, you know, stop this uh, this little run that Docile Micklin has going, this, uh, this little momentum they have here in Challengers, this, this little hierarchy they have over all these other teams. And they do have a hierarchy, man. You know, uh, a lot of this roster comes from the previous team, Queso, obviously relegated. Uh, they didn't have much, you know, success in the Pro League. But granted, though, in Challenger Series, I expect them to do quite well. Currently first, Absence, B-God, Krabbies, and Reflame. And I know you're familiar with everybody on this roster, Ribs. Yeah, these are all former pro players. I mean, I, I could see why they're the number one Challenger team. I, I mean, this team, if I'm them, this is all just uh, a, a, a part of our our road back to pro league i mean this is a team yeah. that is pro league caliber uh almost championship caliber to to an extent I, I can't go there just yet players like absence i've been a huge fan of throughout gears 5 esports of course krabby's be god Re reflame yeah this is a great great roster amazing roster here yeah, it truthfully is. And uh, man, yes, or uh, I should say last week, they were just incredible. A little bit more about them later. Of course, Digital Gaming into the mix. Currently third place. They made semifinals last week, and I believe they lost to Hayabusa Black. This time they will have the opposite end of the bracket, at least from week number one, of course, going against also Micklin, Toxic, Nero, Manic, and Gary. And uh, again, another four stack where I'm sure you're very familiar with who's on here. Yeah, this is another very strong team, challenger team. I mean, let's give some love to Digital Gaming also. Their logo is pretty dope, too. It's almost like a mix between like Cyborg and Mega Man or something like that. I like that. it. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is definitely going to be, I mean, when it comes to the challenger series, these are two very heavy hitting teams. Uh, definitely. I mean, Dossal McClan favored to get back to back championships here, but it starts here in semifinals versus uh, Digital. Yeah, absolutely. It starts here. It starts now. And uh, maps obviously play a big portion of that because we got to see both of these two teams last week. So we're going to get some Asylum, Vascar, and Training Grounds. Now, Vascar, it uh, makes sense for it to be there when it comes to, uh, you know, the boys of uh, Dossal Micklin. They do appreciate Vascar. Last week, it was actually picked by the opposing team, which was Zefe. That's the Entree, Flash Emissives, and X Sans. But uh, they were able to win 5-1. to one. They looked incredible. That was a map that they absolutely dominated. As far as Asylum goes, I haven't seen uh, Dossal Micklin play on that very map. Digital Gaming, though, um, Asylum, yeah, they uh, played last week versus Hayabusa Black. They lost 5-0 on that map, but they're going to stay consistent. They're going to go back into Asylum, a map that they lost 5-0. Fair enough, maybe they've improved from last week to this week. And then, of course, Training Grounds to tie us off, which is uh, another map that... Well, I know uh, the boys of uh, Dawson Micklin are actually great on. They 5-0'd uh, last week, Hayabusa Black, on that very map. And we just seen them 5-1 a team on training ground. So that can just show you and just set it up how good this team is on TG. Dawson Micklin looking very good in the first, well, really in all three maps, I'd have to say. Digital Gaming has, has a tall order in order to win this series, without question. Undoubtedly, I mean, digital gaming has their work cut out for them. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, Dossal McLean, especially after looking at those maps, knowing that digital isn't lights out on Asylum, considering they lost it last week to Hybusa Black, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough one. But let's be honest, th th third rank versus first rank, this this could be a huge upset here for digital sure. gaming if they're going to try to overtake and get you know the, the, the top rank in challengers. And uh, if they come out swinging today, they're playing, they're firing on all cylinders. Who knows? They can get a big upset here. Absolutely. And a big upset would honestly be exciting. You know, we're always for our upsets, uh, especially when we're not invested in either team, right? We like to just see some surprises take place and it, it could happen. You know, it could happen. Digital Gaming, again, the, the four-man roster is very talented. They've been there, done that um, on several occasions, you know, whether it be Pro League or, you know, through Challenger Series or whatever have you. So, you know, it's absolutely a possibility. But again, it starts on Asylum. And uh, again, a map that they lost last week, 5-0 versus a team that was beaten 2-1 last week in Grand Finals. 
uh, or at least beat the team that beat them 5-0. So again, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. But hey, let's get right into it. You have to go through it. You have to try. And uh, digital gaming isn't going to lie down and die. They're just going to have to play their uh, uh, absolute hearts out. Big tracks fight, though. That's what we need to pay attention to. But maybe not. Only one player going down low for the side of uh, digital gaming. And it's going to be player seven. Meanwhile, the tr uh, the street side, they're, they're really prioritizing this. And it seems to be working. Yeah, this is a trick strat, Taylor. I mean, if you play Asylum 10 times, whether it's Pro League or Challengers, you're going to see that strat right there run maybe five times out of the 10 matches. That was a full home hill overextension. Immediately get Absence off the map. It's up to B-God here. Going to catch Toxic sliding into cover. You got to scan the area. You know he's hiding somewhere. Now B-God's going to use his Stun Grenade. Only one there. Gets the... Gets the left side wrap shot, Taylor, and it, <laughs> and, 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 and it you see how it, it, it curved around that, that yeah. fat cover? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty, na I'm not gonna lie, pretty nasty. God, beautiful beautiful hey, stuff to be God with. That's exactly oh, yeah. one v two. He won right there. Dawson McLean's right back into this first round, despite getting wiped right off the bat. Absence, big elimination onto one. Goes in for the second. Ooh. We'll see you later, Gary. That's two down now for digital gaming. And looks like Dosso Micklin is going to quickly be on the hills of DG to be able to retake Bravo, which digital gaming is forced to back off. You know, they knew at this point, hey, okay, well, there's two players down. We're losing our home hill. Let's go in. Let's try to capture Bravo. But because of the quick reinforcements from Dosso Micklin, obviously that doesn't happen. In fact, it's going to go to the other side. Dosso Micklin will lock in B. A, B now in control. Control, and they do have the point lead despite that sub. What looked to be a great start from Digital Gaming, but even so, though, Nero hits a nice shot onto B God. That's going to force Absence in a tough spot at Pavilion. Toxic forced to back off. He's actually down. This could be a trouble spot now, as only one player from DG is going to be left, and that's going to be Nero up ahead. And he's got Absence, continues to perform well, but he gets Lancer down in the end. Two shot down there. I mean, that's a tough situation to be in, but you can hit your full spreads. It's all, it's all it takes two shots sometimes. You got a, uh, you got a distance. This round still up for grabs for either of these two teams. We talked about in that first series how important it is not to put yourself in a hole. Well, I think the very first round could, could mean so much here at the beginning of a matchup. And now, though, two hills in favor of Dustin McClint. Hiding here, he's, he's really far. Yeah, yeah, good. now Gary's gonna put himself in a very tough spot. Yeah, with that man advantage, knowing that they could win off of one hill, Dossel's in a great spot, but look at that, Reflame had no idea. Ooh, Some more kills be... are gonna come out here in favor of Digital, but oh, wait, no big. Krabbies! That, that is was big. huge! Yes, that is because, huge. Yeah, look, they, they can win off the B-Hill alone, uh, the being Dossel. Yeah. This is going to be very tough here now for Digital. They need to get kills, and they're going to need to rotate throughout the whole map. So oh, Absence goes for currently. Absence went for that overextension, which was which was quite nice because he kind of doubled back, but with Krabby's alleviating that pressure on tracks, he was able to then go with his original plan, which is to go for the OE home hill to home hill, and okay. uh, that obviously just you know, and, and at that point, they just needed to distract. Uh, the team of digital gaming for mere seconds, right? Because as you mentioned, they only needed Bravo to take the win. And Absence going for the overextension was uh, just one of those factors yeah. into obviously clutching up. Krabby's though, obviously the hero, winning that big engagement, taking down two players on tracks was huge because at that point they had already had the neutral and they were quickly going to be making their way up to alpha. So at that point, you know, digital gaming could have had a very real chance, but Krabby's basically took all hope away winning that big engagement on tracks on the left side. So well done. And, and you know, as you mentioned, it's always great to start off strong winning map or round number one, rather. And uh, even to top that off the cherry on top of Wheel Ribs, the fact that uh, you're now winning and you're up one round uh, on uh, on a map that's not even your map pick. It's your opponent's map pick. So obviously, you got to be feeling confident. The numbers here, we're going to see both teams match each other. Unlike the last round, we saw Digital Gaming do a huge trick strat, sending three to the top street. Interesting stuff. This time around, it's going to be a 2v2 at the tracks, 1v1 in the middle of the map. It's going to be Nerx, though, on the side of Dodge uh, Digital Gaming that does get that map control in the patio, but the rotation comes out, and I think Krabby's uh, was able to 2v1. Yeah, Absence and Krabby's were able to 2v1 Gary. It's going to be ice broken in favor of Dossel. Nice left hand wrap shot coming out from Reflame. Gonna clean up that kill. Nice back A. It's the chunk. It might be a quick round number two going in favor of Dossel. It is going to be. Yeah, like mm. that play. I think it was Krabby's. Because uh, mm -hmm. I believe, yeah, Absence is playing the 1v1 spot at the street. 
Krabby's allowed his opponent to jump into the patio area, which kind of helps over towards a neutral fight. And he said, hey, you go do that. I'm going to flank your home hill player. We're going to break ice over there. Collapse. And just like that, heads up play from Krabby's helps his team win a very clean round number two. And uh, what's scary for me about that round is the fact that you look at round one and and kind of how it played out. Remember the initial, that trick strat thrown out for digital gaming, sending three players through entrance, only player seven uh, went down the tracks for that roster. And that strategy worked because obviously Dawson Micklin wasn't ready for it, but then you see they didn't when they do... They didn't, they didn't clean it up. B-God got a double Fair. kill, remember? And that's yes. where the, a strategy like that goes out the window if you get caught by that last player. He, that last player needs not to get a kill. I mean, the strategy worked, but they didn't close out the final kill. And I think That's the biggest the thing that I'm getting at, though, is the fact that when you do see them finally square up 2-2, like your normal strat, you know, the, the way Asylum is normally played, they lose in 40-something seconds. Sure. And that's yeah. what's worrisome to me is like, you know, okay, now when they're actually doing what you should be, or at least what, what normally happens, now you're getting ran through. So that, that's my biggest worry. B-God, though, takes, oh, wait, hold up a second. Big t uh, team fight. Players piggybacking off each other, picking them up. A lot of pressure onto B-God at this point. That's going to be one down. He's going to go ahead and full sim. This is that 1v3 we were talking about, in which it seems digital gaming seems to be all right. Yeah. Absence loss is 1v1. So if you lose the 1v1 on the, on the home hills to Gary, good job on Gary winning that 1v. Your team wins the team fight just like that. Good answer back. Unlike Hype Esports we saw earlier putting themselves yep. in huge deficits, it's going to be finally digital, uh, digital Gaming answering back on the third round. Going into the last round of the half, you know, if, if, you're, if you're Digital Gaming, you're trying to tie it up 2-2 here. And uh, pretty encouraging, you know, again, because last time that they played on Asylum, at least here for the Challenger Series, they were beaten 5-0. So, you know, obviously, you know, they do take a round, but uh, they were down considerable numbers. So it's got to feel good to at least know that you can win rounds, especially if you square up like they just did. So well done. Let's see if they are able to continue forward. We do have the incense now. They're going to be down low onto tracks. Dawson Micklin with the two to one uh, current lead. And it's going to be the final round of the first half. Let's see if digital gaming can tie it up. That would be big. And they're going back to the strategy from round one, Ribs. Yeah, and this time around, Absence isn't going to get it picked off. Krabby's is going to rotate, but nice spacing there from Manic. He's going to he's going to straight backwards. Now it's going to be Absence at a 1v3. He has a little bit of team fire to help him. Not enough. Two downs go there from, from B-God, but none of the kills come out. Great revives, great initial. Once again, the trick strat does work in the favor of Digital Gaming, but it is going to be B-God, just like last time, kind of the anchor here at the B-Hill. The last line of defense. Still staying alive. He used that incense to stall a little bit, but the revive doesn't come out. This time around, Taylor, Trick Strat is going to work all the way through to the point where now where Digital Gaming has full map control, full man advantage. Toxic going for the overextension. Absence, last man alive. They're going to go for it, Taylor. Digital Gaming is going to play for this kill. If Absence can, gets taken Ooh. out, yeah. spawn shields are going to run out here. It's going to be a tough retake. Can Doss will do it. All the shots are going to be hit for Digital Gaming, and they're going to tie it up 2 2. Well done. Well done. And you, and you kind of broke it down, you know, quite well. You know, obviously great spacing in the streets fight, but Absence doesn't take the 1v. And look at that. It works out well. And that, and, and I like the fact that they are breaking the mold. Um, who did I cast with last week, man? Was it Jacob or was it Colin? I can't remember. But um, last week for Challenger Series, one of the things that they kind of pointed out was they wanted to see teams in Challenger Series break the mold and try new strategies because when they go against the pro teams in the future, maybe they'll be better off, right? Because they're not just doing the same things that the pro teams are, you know, they can recognize in scrims or recognize because they've had the repetition in scrims, they had the repetition in pro league and tournaments, misfit playoffs and things like that. So I like that three-man push. You don't see that too often. If digital gaming can master that, hey, they could be all right. But now what do you what is the trick strat now in the second half? I don't think there is one. You just have to do your typical three-man push on E. Yeah, I mean we're just trying to try to pay attention to the minimap, but yeah, right now it seems like it's a two-one-one base strategy for both teams. It's gonna come down to who uses their utility better in the incense. It's going to be Digital Gaming and Toxic that did take that middle door area, but he was taken out. He had an opportunity there to get a kill. And yeah, it's going to look like Docile here is going to take the first initial of the second half. Hey, Eric just got a nice double kill. Went for the triple. Just feeling himself there. He got those two kills, Taylor. And he's like, all right, at this point, I'm just going to roadie run all the way next to you. If you don't hit this shot, I'm going to chunk you. But hey, it is going to be Docile that cleans up that 1v1. 
And Nero so comes good, out from man. Toxic. And look at the point. Look at the point. This uh, advantage here. Digital was able to break the home hill. Now we're back to kind of like a double initial where we're seeing the mm -hmm. same fight we started the, the round off with. Look at Krabby's kind of uh, playing a, a floating spot. Can he flank? Can he go back and help? Can he help the 1v1? Being there is kind of going to be annoying to worry about on the side of Digital. He got gets the cap. Can he stay alive though? He's getting pushed. Oh, Empire that's big. Out. Great cross from replay. Wow. It was a good hold. I, I expected B-God to fall there, but uh, like you mentioned, the crossfire was great. Nero's still looking to make some heroics. B-God reflame. They're gone, but uh, in the end, though, obviously, Dawson Mecklen is going to be able to potentially get this domination. It's going to be hard for Digital Gaming to come back from this. You can already see the pressure, the shots that are being connected. They won't get a touch. And that's going to be a 3-2 lead now going over towards Dawson Mecklen. And uh, a, a really good retake. I loved Krabby's floating position. We see a player there like all the time, but I like the fact that Krabby's did his job well. He goes for the push, as you mentioned, just being annoying, forcing a player to rotate back. Meanwhile, though, the rest of Dawson Micklin is pushing up on the E, and, and they pretty much had free reign to do that. B-God gets in the cut. He has two players push him, but at that point, his teammates are able to Lancer out for him. Despite him being full red, he doesn't drop off. So that was a great push. In a good hold, I would say. Double initial went down, but in the end, Dossel Micklin finds a way to take it over. Well done. And uh, that puts them that much closer to being on map point. Let's see if they win it. And Nero, Nero, the only one on the side of Digital Gaming that round, kind of putting up a fight, winning mm -hmm. almost two 1v3s. He had an opportunity to win that round. and got, got two kills twice. Uh, back to the street fight here over at E. Still no power weapons on the map other than the incense. Just like last round, it is Digital Gaming that kind of takes Control of the door, trying to cross for absence. Oh, he actually wow. got that down across the map. Beautiful support fire to help Gary win his 1v1. All the members of Docile knowing that they could lose their home hill are going to have to rotate backwards. Krabby's and B-God giving up all map control. He's playing holding the original home hill of the first half. Huge choke point here. The fight, the kills coming out in favor of Digital. Getting some nice revives. Nice. Trades come out. Reflame has to revive, and Digital wins a crucial team fight on the uh, docile side of the map. You win a team fight like that, definitely go for the overextension. It's up to B God here. Try to keep his team alive. He gets the break. Get down though. The meat shield comes out. That's gonna dodge a stun for him. Nice shot into a into a melee. That's why it's so important to, to pick up those meat shields because then that meat shield will soak up the stun. Stun grenade now drops your meat shield. You have your shotgun out. You're ready to fight. Beautiful plays coming out from Digital Gaming. Yeah, well done, man. Digital Gaming played that to a T. And, you know, I was a little bit worried. I, I hate to say that was. Um, you know, sometimes that overaggression can kind of bite you in the butt. You get counter wiped. You mentioned that big team fight in admin. But because Digital Gaming wins that, I mean, they were just able to overwhelm the spawn of uh, uh, Dossel Micklin and ultimately take that round. That's a big one for them to take. Again, you don't want to put the enemy team up four to two. That's that much closer to winning the map. This is obviously the map pick for Digital Gaming, one that they felt confident on and one that they want to take and uh, mind you this is the second week in a row they have picked this very map so they clearly improved if they can go this toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dossel Micklin if Digital Gaming does find themselves in grand final still a lot more series to be played I think You're they can put up a great fight I, I'm getting here look I'm just trying to build up some suspense and some storylines for the okay. chat that's it <laughs> okay all right, no, I mean, the thing is, Digital Gaming, they're the underdogs. For them to be 3 3 here, I mean, it's a much more competitive match than we saw in that first series. That's the best, that's the most we could ask for, right? Competitive gameplay, nice down there. Krabby's thinking he could get away. He's going to self detonate that instant. The B God, B God had an opportunity there, missed that up A. Toxic's gonna capitalize. Yeah, with was that with Nero getting taken out, there is no reason now that we should see anybody else on Digital Gaming overextend. Manic back up. Gonna be at a man disadvantage. You know your teammate has to come off a respawn. Good job picking a good route there to get out without getting down. Good job, Manic. Toxic, why is this taking finally now to cap the hill? Caps the E-Hill, he's able to reset. But it's gonna be Dossel that's gonna be able to, at least at the very least, get the break. Oh, and they have a point lead. They don't have to do much here. It's going to come down to the next set of incense, really. But Absence, I believe, winning a 1v1 over Manic. Yeah, that was an isolated 1v1 in the center of the map. That's going to give Dossal men advantage. They're going to use it to 2v1 over at the tracks. Now a 4v2 on the map. 
Jungle Gaming in a tough spot here, Taylor. They're going to have to give up all map control after losing those fights. Ooh, yeah, Domination might be, well, at least ticking off momentarily. Manic is going to be forced to back up. Reflame now poking in, just getting that damage. Krabby's is going to be from the side. Manic drops. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be all she wrote. Now, Digital Gaming knows firsthand how hard it is for that spot to be retaken. They were in that spot right in round number six where they were able to win it in a way of domination. 4-3, Dustin Micklin answers back. Still a chance, though. Still a chance for Digital Gaming to come back into the fight. Gary's had one phenomenal game, 14-5 and five currently. 14 kills, 5 assists. But what's the game plan? I assume both disables are going to come out here. I, I don't think Digital Gaming is going to risk saving a disable for round nine and it looks like they are going to go ahead and get rid of the incense which fair enough you know the shocks are deadly as they are the incense uh, in conjunction with the shocks obviously are powerful so at this point we need a uh, a must win for digital gaming they've shown that they can do it let's see if they can do it again Moves down to this initial here they're going to try to force their way into a round number nine digital gaming Knowing that map point is in favor of their opponents. They have to be perfect here. They have no power weapons on the map, no incense. It's gonna come down to these shock grenades, and Manic looks like he really just wanted to bait that shock grenade out. He doesn't get taken out, so that's a good play considering he still has his shock grenade. He got's gonna up a right when he throws it, which is good timing for him, but now he's gonna be in a tough spot. He's gonna get taken out immediately. With that, digital gaming. Not much, but it's a kill, it's a hill be up now to docile to try to retake this neutral hill my no incense on the map Tilly, so they're gonna have to use maybe stun grenades that they spawn with and that's about it the god's gonna spawn with a sun grenade or a smoke whichever one he chooses to use he's gonna be a smoke grenade comes out lines the vision a little bit of digital gaming the break does come out but the lead is still in favor and keep in mind gary's just picked up a kill that was a fair 1v1 against Absence. I love looking at the map to see if there was anyone around. No, that was an isolated 1v1. Mm. Mill's going to go in favor of Digital Gaming. He's going to get the break. Now he got the break. Went for the flank. They turn on him. He's going to help Toxic get a one shot. So, so far, this round has been very back and forth, but it is Digital Gaming that comes out on top when it comes to the lead, the hill advantage. If they can rotate over that new shock grenade, they're going to be in a great spot when it comes to this fight. All right. Oh, nice shots from Reflame. Hits the second. Goes in for the third. Can't do it. Krabby's, though, is there for the clean. Oh, bit of a miss roll. Gary cleans him up. Even so, Gary's job isn't done just yet. Big 1v2. B God is going to be able to out angle him. And now, Digital Gaming. The shoe is on the other foot from a dominating position now. So they're back against the wall despite having the point lead. Even so, though, they will manage to take down B God. He's out of the way. Now, Reflame does get the shock, though. That's going to be big, especially because you, you have to know. Uh, digital gaming is going to be pushing to retake E. And this is going to allow that shock alone is going to allow for Dossal Micklin to hold on to E the two to one long enough to at least uh, net themselves a decent lead. So there's the shock. Digital oh, no. gaming can't push up, but the shock is answered back. So either way, though, this is going to be a close ball game. And this E fight is just about everything. Don't like how digital gaming use their shock when the you know opposing team shock was still there. It kind of just like mitigated that. So now there's going to be no advantages for them. Nero gets down, and now it's going to be a 3v4. Yeah, Docile getting two kills back to back. They're going to angle these guys out. Manic gets some. Just really sucks, Taylor, because escalation is so tough, man. And Digital Gaming literally played 60 to 70% of that round impeccably, and it just came down to those last couple of fights where they kind of just got a little aggressive. They didn't need to do much. Let the opposing team get on the hill. Let them cap the hill. Wait till your utility gets there. Retake it in, in, in a better fashion, a cleaner fashion. Instead, they lose two team fights back to back. Post match, competitive match, but it is going to be docile, the favorite team, defending champs. They're going to go up 1 0 here in the semifinal series against Digital Gaming. Yeah, as you said, previous champ, scary spot, right? If you are in the shoes of Digital Gaming to now be down 0 to 1 against uh, a team that just won last week. You've now lost your map pick, and you're heading into Vascar, which is your opponent's map pick, one that they played very well last week. And hopefully they were taking notes because this is not going to be an easy feat for them. But as you mentioned, though, you know, they played impeccably, you know, up until the point where they just ended up losing. And that maybe that misplay shock, you know, throwing that shock a little bit too early. And uh, because it didn't counter anything, I agree with you. That shock uh, probably could have changed the pacing for that fight onto E.
but ultimately it doesn't. And right, and that, and that's just a, that's just a, a, a call that should have been made, maybe by your IGL or, or at least your dominant vocal uh, figurehead on the team, who should have you know ca called that out, timed it, because that should have been standard play. I mean, maybe he didn't react to the fact that the other shock was thrown for the other team. He was just trying to make a play. But yeah, you got you got at least. It's a matter of just being a little bit more methodical about it and taking your time. It's not a rush at that point. They, they still had the point lead. If you think about it, the, the digital game yeah. still had about a 30 point lead. So there's no rush. You just need to win one clean fight and the round's over. But I mean, that's where they could go back and they could learn from it. But it's going to cost them that first map. And that's a very important first map considering we're going into Vasgar. We know how strong Docile is on Vasgar. Right. No, they, they definitely are. Uh, Krabby's just pops off on that map consistently. B God is a phenomenal flex player and kind of be it uh, really play any role on Vascar specifically. Last week, he was doing such a great job kind of flexing in between positions and, and kind of providing backup wherever he was needed, winning big engagements as well. I expect Vascar to be even more difficult than here on Asylum, but there is some uh, some good stuff that we obviously, you know, witness from digital gaming, and that gives me some good faith as we do head into map number two that uh, at least they'll keep it competitive. I mean, who knows? Again, it would be an upset, but the possibility is absolutely there. But then you have Training Grounds, another map that, uh, you know, they were able to beat a team which, you know, I put as, well, they are number two, you know, for all intents and purposes. Obviously, uh, Hayabusa Black, they were able to beat them 5-0 on that map. So I don't know. It, again, it's going to be very difficult. But uh, even so, I think digital gaming has a lot of promise in the Challenger series. You know, it, it, even if it's not for first place, I think they're a pretty consistent team that uh, needs to be respected amongst the ranks of uh, maybe, you know, the other teams. Maybe, I don't know, rank two and down, honestly. It's a, it's a matter of how much they'll continue to improve. Um, but that showing right there, I mean, obviously that was a very competitive match against the number one team right now in Challengers. But yeah, sure. you got to grow from these matches. I don't, I'm not going to count them out, but I don't think they're going to get this upset. I do think going into Vasgar is going to be all docile. But like I said, digital gaming continue to improve, continue to grind. Whatever they're doing seems to be working on, on the sense of them uh, getting better week, week by week. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, that's what we want. Again, we want to see these teams consistently get better and better. And uh, well, the opportunity is here. You just got to be, be able to want it and take it at this point in time. But uh, hey, let's see how it happens. Oh, one thing I didn't point out, by the way, Toxic, uh, Manic, and Nero, uh, they're joined by Gary. But Toxic, Manic, and Nero were on the double R roster, if you remember them competing throughout the Pro League qualifiers and things. Yep, so, yep. Uh, you know, again, they've been trying for a very long time to uh, not only enter back into the Pro League or enter into the Pro League in general, but also just, I think, uh, better their chances in the major. It's it's all here. You just got to go out and grab it. But hey, here we go. We're heading into map number two, Vascar. Again, it's going to be a difficult one for digital gaming. So... From lessons learned from Asylum as we transfer into a different map ribs, uh, what are the biggest key takeaways that uh, you want to see digital gaming maybe fix or apply into their strategy uh, to maybe have a better chance here against Dawson Micklin? Well, I mean, I was just saying in that final round, the, the few mistakes, they weren't playing methodical enough. This map, you kind of, you still play methodical, but you got to pick, you got to decide what you're going to do and do it fast. You don't really have as much time as I was saying they had in that last round. So I just want to make sure if I'm in digital gaming, I'm, I'm, I'm controlling the pace of these fights. Sure. I'm rotating early, rotating fast with confidence. And wolf packing. I mean, that's the name of the game on Vasgar. As I say that, it is Dazzle that's wolf packing very well. The flank comes out from B God. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, he's I mean, everywhere, man. He's everywhere. He's just he's such a scary player. You have to keep your head on a swivel at all times because again, he he can, he's that flex player. You know, from what I noticed from last week, and you know, B God wasn't a bad player either when Vascar was in a competitive rotation. You know, back in the day for you know at the earlier days of, of Gears Five when B God was really at the top. So. It's, uh, it's encouraging to see that he kind of hasn't left off, but that's a quick round, man. That's a scary round. You're already now up 1-0, and that was, what, 40 seconds? You got to do better than that. Yeah, the members of Dazzle that were at their home hill, a lot of teams usually just give up that home hill. They just rotate and kind of just do circles on the, around the map. You saw they were stalling for that flank by B-God, so that was a heads-up play by Dazzle. Being on the same page, knowing that if they do die, they get angled out, B-God was there to get the trades, and You're with that, they were to get a very video. fast first round here on Vasgar. Joe Gaming now going to send four members for the immediate overextension over by luggage. Looks like is ready. They're going to down Toxic immediately. He finds cover, but I don't know if they're going to have anyone there to revive him just yet. It looks like it. No, he's going to bleed out. So Ice is oh, broken seven. in favor of Docile. Yeah, once again, this is a Mr. Crab scenario, Taylor. They're, they're going to 
getting flanked. It's the absence this time that's flanking. Oh. It's okay, Tox Toxic came off a of spawn anyway, so it was yep. all right. He wasn't going to be able to get that recap right in the face of two members of Digital. Still, though, advantage docile starting yeah. into the second round. Well, Toxic is going to be able to rotate over to B, and at this point, Docile needs to make a decision. You know, they're, obviously, it's going to be to push forward. They're just kind of trying to time it out right. Manic is going to be the biggest issue they're going to have so far, but uh, he's going to drop off. Absent's going to be at the forefront, tries to get the finish, can't do it. There's going to be some good team revives, but back up, takes down Gary. Nero's gone, Manic as well, and into the blender, Digital Gaming goes. Now, just like that, Toxic, the first one to drop off initially, the last one standing as Docile looks to push up up and gain control once again of the objective. They already have the point lead. Toxic's not winning this. He's getting angled out. He's gone. And uh, Digital Gaming has to find a way to fight back. They're going to do so by sitting three strong over towards C. But once again, Dossel Micklin, one step ahead objectively. And we're back to the same fight we were in during the initial. But it's going to be a little bit faster this time for Digital Gaming because they're not wasting any time. They're pushing up. They know at this point we have to make something happen. Like I said, you have to control the pace. If you lose a team fight, it's all good. Come off a of spawn, fight with confidence, get in the face of Docile, but it's not going to be My enough. Ravi's just playing so composed in that scenario, as we saw Absence do earlier. These guys are just so talented, man. I still, he goes for that up a shot that I've been so upset to see work every mm -hmm. time he gets punished for it. Finally, Toxic punishes it. He straights off the cover and gets the jump. Look at the score, Taylor. Docile still in a great spot here. Up oh, close to 70 points here. Yeah. Okay, and they're waiting fights too. I mean, at this point, Digital needs to win every single fight on the map. They're running out of time. They do have just enough time, though, to maybe push the home hill. No, he doesn't do this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that cutback. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, man, he pushes one and then the cutback. But he got, again, you have to keep your head on a swivel, guys, because he is going time, to though. be everywhere. But you, like you said, running out of time, 249 and 250. Toxic was just a hair away from getting a break. But B got obviously picking up that two-piece. I think he would have been able to overextend and, and get the, the hill on tank regardless. But hey, right. 2-0 lead. And uh, again, I'm looking at, you know, the two teams kind of played out. Docile Micklin is just looking in control pretty much every step of the yeah. way. We're seeing some flash in the pants for digital gaming, but for the most part, you know, consistency goes to Docile. Yeah, and I mean, it's it doesn't surprise me that digital gaming was able to do, you know, a little bit well on their, a, a little bit better on their map pick. But uh, I mean, I'm sure digital gaming is, is confident on Vasgar. They didn't auto ban it, but yeah, right now Docile just seems a little bit better, you know, a little bit more... <laughs> Uh, ready for some of these scenarios and yeah be god winning these fights absence winning these fights we're, we're seeing some great shotgun plays coming out from docile that, that's helping him there's a 3v3 at the tank fighting for the long shot rifle really, went down a lot earlier than i was tank. expecting ribs you know i mean at least give it another round but uh, i mean the two rounds have been pretty dominant for docile so i guess it makes sense better late than never you know at this point but you can't allow b god to do what he's doing and he's going to run straight into Toxic. And yeah, he doesn't oh, even turn around, unfortunately. And that's a free long shot. And uh, you don't want to give that long shot up. It has such an impact. And Reflame's going to use it. He might pass it off to Bigot potentially. But either way, though, Nero, Voltok, and And, and he's going to try and just keep him at bay as long as possible. Digital Gaming is going to keep this round alive. But it's a matter of will they thrive? You know, that's the biggest question. And I don't know if they can. Keep in mind, too, I believe Digital Gaming put down their long shot at that point because they knew they, they were going into the spawn that's a little bit quicker towards the Ah, uh, fair, yeah. That small advantage wasn't enough, though, as you saw. It's not a, it's not a clear-cut advantage where you get a free weapon grab. You know, you still got to fight all docile Micklin here in round number three. Headshots. Definitely what Reflame's going to be going for here. He has, a, he has a Retro Lancer and a Sniper. Those, those are his two weapons, so... He's not going to be trying to get close to anybody, but he is going to try to hold this position. Yeah, he's going to help with a little bit of team fire. That's going to be a free kill on the carry. I don't know what he was trying to do. Pulls the sniper back oh. out. Ooh, that <laughs> angle was scary. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Nero's down. Good hold. Reflame needed that. At that point, Digital Gaming had knocked out two members from Dossel Micklin. So Reflame picking up those two eliminate or at least one elimination, you know, alleviates that pressure, allows his teammates to go big, and it's obviously Dossel Micklin to try and retake control. Toxic, though, putting up a great fight. Big kill on Absence, can't get it, unfortunately. And the two to one goes back into the hands of Dawson Micklin. I think more importantly, though, three down for digital gaming and a domination attempt coming through. 
Nero's going to get the touch on B, but again, digital gaming isn't getting an effective foothold in these rounds. Okay, it's not so Micklin consistently uh, having the man advantage and, and just the map positioning objective and pretty much everything. And uh, digital gaming is fighting for scraps. You're not going to win fighting for scraps. <laughs> they just really sucks right now, Robert, because Reflame has a la he has a rifle lancer with six bullets in it and a, and a sniper. He's like, I can't really help you there, B God. <laughs> but he's still holding them off for a Look little at him. bit. He has a pistol out. Like, what is he can't do anything. <laughs> Tough I mean, at some point he could have picked up a shotgun. There was a shotgun on the floor over by the B hill, so kind of tough for him. And hey, look, Digital's still in this round. They're down sure. by a lot of points, but New Sniper's going to go in hands of Krabby's. And I think here, if I'm docile, I'm just going to try to win off the B hill. Yeah. Look at this little stare down, both of these players. Neither one of them actually showing any of their character's hitbox. Kind of just scoping out the area. Look, Krabby's still waiting for this potential shot. 4v3 in favor of Digital, so they're still in this round, but they have to get on that B hill. They have to do it now. Krabby's nice. going to get a free kill. B God gets a kill. And that's 3 0 in favor of the <laughs> defending challengers champions. They're making light work here on their map pick of Asgard. Yeah, they truthfully are. Uh, and, and again, making them look even stronger potentially for grand finals uh, if they do play against Hayabusa. Well, if they do make it to that point, of course, Digital Gaming's still in it until they're not. But. Uh, yeah, that's tough, uh, truthfully. It's very tough. Now, the long shots, again, you placed it down because you wanted it to be in favor of your spawn, but now, obviously, it's going to be into the favor of Docile Micklin, and they don't need uh, a favor. They don't need a little added edge. You know, they're, they're already winning these rounds 3-0. You might have just handed a 4-0 lead, which none they could do. Torquebow, that's a fair decision. Break up the fight because you already know, once again, as you mentioned, Docile Micklin, they're going to be, uh, you know, faster, quicker to the draw for the long shot. So Torquebow kind of Split them up. Fair enough. Throw anything at Docile that you can at this point. Digital gaming is throwing it all, and uh, honestly, that's what you have to do. And that's going to split up two 2v2s. I like this a lot. You know, uh, the, the map split up. Two fair two on two fights. Each one for a power weapon. We're on board with B God right now. He has the positioning. He might have. He's going he's gonna to try to grab the Torpo. Yeah, he is. But no, no, he can't grab it without taking damage. He's going to have to reset now. But meanwhile, he knows his team winning the fight over at the tank. They got a clean double kill there. They're going to get the sniper. So now it's going to be a tough, tough spot here for Manic and Nero, knowing they're going to get flanked a bit eventually. Hmm. No flank, but the sniper rotates out. So, yeah. And I don't like Krabby's having the long shot in, in terms of if I'm thinking about a digital game. Because <laughs> Krabby's just, he's, I've seen him pull off some nasty plays. My lord, B got putting on a clinic, Manic and Nero down, oh another one gone. Gary last up, he's looking at a wall of docile Nicklin players and uh, he's got to make a move. He's got to make some magic happen because this is going to be a domination. B got down, he did his work. He did as, as much as he honestly possibly could. Krabby's is going to back up. Unfortunately, he's going to go down. Big moment for Digital Gaming to get that long shot out of the way. And I don't think he had it backpacked either, but he's still concerned, obviously, of Reflame having the Torque Bow. And you have to. Four more bolts still remain. He's going to back up, though. And the long shot does go to Nero, just as I thought it was a backpack. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a, definitely a misplay there from Krabby. Another misplay here from Reflame. If you have a power weapon, you're risking yourself to where you can utilize it. Mind though, B God has his shotgun, and that might as well be a power up. And he is winning so many shotgun fights here in the semifinals matchup. The score, Taylor. I mean, a little bit of kills come out from digital here and there, but a lot of kills going in favor of Docile. When it's all said and done, they're going to be at match point by the end of this. I mean, the round's not over yet. Gary has a 1v1 here. It's not going to matter. Reflame playing that cover perfectly. I believe the players of digital are going to have time, but really pointless. I mean, you retake your own bill. You don't have enough time to get anywhere else. So, yeah. Doesn't matter. Mm. Also still going to fight it out. And that like should be it. Here. Krabby's, yeah. That's going to be it. Unfortunate. It's scarier than match point, series point too, Ribs. You know, this is second map. You know, this is the opportunity to go into grand finals. And I know they're going to be feeling good, speaking in terms of Dawson Micklin. If they can win this 5-0, come on, they're still, you know, again, they're, at least as of right now, the best team currently in the Challenger Series. So the Torque Boat wasn't enough. The Long Shot wasn't enough. Hey, throw something in Crater. Why not? Let's get something midline, too. You know, just make it crazy out here. I do like that it ended up being two separate 2v2 fights. And if I'm digital at that point, 
the second one of my teammates die on the other side of the map, I think the play is to kind of just push forward and try to force your way into the 2v2. Just rough though. I mean, they, uh, Digital Gaming hasn't won that tank fight not once throughout this map. And I mean, they're down 4 0. If you can't win an initial, it's going to be very hard to take out a team like Docile. You're giving them too many advantages. Once again, it seems like we're going to see 2v2. Torque bow at helicopter, 2v2 at the tank for the sniper. Absence pushing up quickly, getting, trying to get into this luggage. He's going to get outbade by Nero. Great shot from him. Ooh, okay. He got though in a 1v2, gets the kill on the Manic. He's so Nero. cool. Yeah, Nero, Nero actually messed that caught up, though. Yeah, he caught B God between shots, but then he kind of just misrolled when he got to the cover. He didn't even pull the shot out, so B God was a successful 1v2 to help his team get the torch low. Okay. Nice movement. Can't get reflamed though. Either way, pressure on F still there. Toxic picking up one. That's encouraging. Stays alive despite being full red and backs up. Oh, tries to get the long shot. I, I didn't even realize it was still on the ground. And if he can get away with this, that could be the first time digital gaming will have the long shot in their favor. But <laughs> B-God does have the torque and I've seen him pull off some nasty shots with it. Albeit the only one more remains and Toxic is down and he is gone. And I think alongside that, yeah, the long shot's out of the way. And that advantage is out. Oh my, and Doss was going for a domination again? What is going on? They're everywhere. Yeah, it's going to be a big 1v1, though. Manic does uh, capture the E-Hill after winning a 1v1, so he's going to keep this team alive. But very similar to the last few rounds, Taylor. I mean, look at the score. The, these fights, unless they're, they're clean team whites coming out from digital, these fights aren't going to be enough to get them, you know, out of this deficit. You are not ready of 60 points, currently. that's a lot. It's too much. I, I mean, I, I say too much. It's, it's not, but... It's a lot. It's a lot because now you're putting yourself in, in a position where Dawson Maclin only needs one hill, not where you want to be. Toxic, you can't blow this crap. Oh, man, that is tough. To have the first <laughs> shot like that and to still allow Krabby's to take you out, that's just a misplay. Yeah. yeah, it's rough. It's rough when you have no momentum at all. You're, you know you're on match point. You, the, other, the other team is just quite simply playing at a, at a, at a different level. All right, see the kill feed light up in favor of Digital. Gary got a double kill. Nero does get taken out. Reflame full health here still. And it's going to force Reflame to push him, knowing that they can get the three tap. A little bit of a push and pull scenario happening right here. But yeah, Manic's going to try to get the cap right in the face of Reflame. Like this long range shotgun fight, but it always ends up coming to an up A or a back A. That's Gears Esports. It is going to be Reflame winning a crucial 1v1. His team secures their home hill in 10 seconds. It is going to be the end of our second series, Taylor. Docile. I said it was going to be all Docile and Vazgar, but I didn't think it would be a five. Oh. Yeah. You, you, well, it's like, it's so hard to call those, you know? Like, you can be, all right, this team is favored, but to call a 5 0, that, that's put. And honestly, that's, that's, at some points could be disrespected. It's going to be a 5 0. You know, you don't want to, <laughs> no one wants to say that, but I mean, Wow, uh, dominant performance. B guy clearly playing so very well, as I as I expected him to do. So 19, 16, only six deaths. And you know it, what's impressive about him only dying six times, ribs, is as you saw how much movement he was having on the map. Like he was literally everywhere, and at times putting himself in uh, cl not clutch necessarily, but tough one v two spots where he was secret manning. But he was he was making it happen, and, and that's what I expect B God to do, and he did exactly that. I got to say, Dawson Micklin, they're ready for grand finals. They are looking. That, that was, I, I didn't, well, you know what? It's the, it's the same uh, score count, still 10 3. 10 3 from uh, Hayabusa Black versus Hype, and, and 10 3 round count for Dawson Micklin Digital Gaming. So both teams do get a 10 3 uh, overall series score, just in different ways. Yep. I mean, it's going to come down to, you know, the, the, these these are the top two teams in the, right now in Challengers. And looking at B-God, I'm, lo I'm looking at Brawny, obviously, the, you know, the two top slayers so far tonight for their to, their, for their respective teams. Yeah, this is a, this is as the script would have it, Taylor, to see these two top-seeded teams face off two weeks in a row. And on the side of Hayabusa Black, I'm curious to see what type of adjustments they've had after losing pretty convincingly last week, right, Taylor? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a map three scenario, right? But it was. They, got beat, they, got, they got beat bad. Yeah, and training grounds. I'm curious if they if they pick training grounds again. I have to get a five out on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I'm glad you said that because, you know, it, it did go to game three. And when, when you I think when anybody hears that, like, oh, I went game three. It's like, man, that was a good series. Then not really. Uh, you know, first map was training grounds. And, uh, you know, Dossal Micklin won that 5-0. Second map was exhibit. Granted, high boost of black answers back wins at 5-3. I really hope they do pick exhibit because that was I mean, if you're able to win that map against this team after you lost, I mean, fair enough, come in. That can better your chances, obviously, to send it to game three or maybe even getting a 2-0 if you get a surprise. But district was map number three and they lost at 5-1. I'm going to recap this when we come back from break, but uh, from the two maps that Dawson Micklin was able to win over Hayabusa Black, uh, they won in a fashion of 10-1 round count. So yeah, wow. that's that's that it was it was essentially a beatdown even though it went map 3. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure.